Now, as he does, notice that he doesn't make a ripple on the surface. So you can imagine, if this was deep, dark, murky water, you'd have no idea that a large croc was just a few meters away. And I'm tapping my feet on the bottom of the pond. He's picking up on these vibrations. This would be just how we locate prey coming down to the water's edge. Now watch that tail as he lines me up, because that's where he gets his power from. Now Mossman's one of our most unpredictable crocodiles. He's also the largest croc we use here in the Crocosseum. You never know what this big fella's going to do. Different every time, and it looks like he's going to line me up today. He just watch as he gets closer and closer. You get more of a kink in that tail. Oh, big fella. All the way. And that's enough for me. So yours, Rich. Cheers, Josh. Alright, watch his tail. That's where it gets his power from. Look at the mind up today. That's it. That's it. Now do you want to look, look up the fish? Not my legs? <laughs> that's better. Oh! Oops! Maybe. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. Once when he comes out there, he's looking at your feet at first, not really looking at the food. Okay, but like Josh said, you know, it's dirty murky water, you have absolutely no idea that he's stalking you. And when he wants to, he can strike from the tip of his snout to the base of his tail, and he can go that length in the blink of an eye. So if you're standing within that strike range at the water's edge, he was serious about it, you have Buckley's and none to get out of the way. Now, he's not real happy about me standing so close to him, but he knows he can't find me down out here, but what he really hates is someone in his water, so Josh, why don't you hop in? <laughs> cool, let's see how we go. Come on, big fella. Now notice the difference, as soon as I hit the water, he wants me out. He wants to defend his home with everything he's got. And I'll tell you what, there's not an awful lot of room to move here, so if I sound a little nervous, it's because I am. <laughs> what are you going to do, big fella? Come on, Austin. He's just trying to pull me in a bit closer. There we go. Crocs have the ability to learn and remember, so as much as I think I'm working Mossman right now, he's working me at the same time. Just trying to lure me in to get that much closer. You can see him just sitting just a few centimeters above the water surface there. Come on, big fella. Richie, he missed that. Can you grab it? <laughs> We're not doing too well on the feeds today. Now I'll tell you what, the reason why I didn't get that close to him there is because he's got potentially 3,000 pounds for scorpion's closing jaw pressure. That's more than any other animal on the planet. Closest living animal be the hippopotamus has about 1,500 psi, so no other animal on earth comes close to the jaw pressure of the saltwater croc. Now it goes without saying, crocs are dangerous in the water and at the water's edge. But there's another place you can run into trouble, and that's in areas overhanging the water. Richie, we'll see if you can get the going. Just, just right here, I'll let you play. 